Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we're going to be touring an island made by ACNH Rabbiz over on Twitter. I will put all of their information down in the description below. We're going to be touring an island themed after the Friends of Mineral Town, the Story of Seasons game. As you can guess by this flag right here, we have a beautiful double rainbow in the sky. Let's get started. Friends of Mineral Town is a farming simulator game. I'm going to go ahead and go to the right. This is so cute. We have Biddy over here on the beach. I know that Story of Seasons doesn't really have beaches, so I don't expect them to be decorated. We have Coco over here and a little barn. Oh my gosh, I love the barn with the red doors and that red building side. That's really cute. And then I'm going to guess that this is like a welcome center or the post office or something. I do love these wheat fields. They are beautiful. Here we have a little um, flower box and I, they're set behind to kind of mimic a greenhouse. I really do love that. And we have our little ducks over here penned up. They're so cute. And then I'm going to go towards resident services. This island is so beautiful in its simplicity. I just really love the way it looks. It's so aesthetic. It's pretty. It's wide open spaces. It is absolutely gorgeous. Also, can we talk about this brick right here that matches the plaza? I love that. And at first it did dupe me just a little bit because I was like, um, is that the plaza? It is not. It is not. It is really cool though. I love that. And then we have just this little camp area inside the woods. And I love that it's just a little fire pit right there. So cute. And then the river right over here. I love this dirt path. It's so beautiful. I love it on all of the islands where I see it. And this just leads right back around where you can see the lake and the little fishing spot. This is so pretty right here. That's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and go to the right. We're going to the left. Yes, that's that's where we're going. We have this cute wooden deck right here. I love that. And then we are over here with the farm. I love that. We have another barn over here. I'm loving the way the rainbow looks in the sky behind it. So beautiful. And I love the way this is laid out. It's laid out. It is so pretty and green and I don't know. It's very sparse, but I love the way the decor is not overwhelming. Like I tend to be very overwhelming and cluttered and I really love the way this isn't. So that looks like a house that we should go into. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. Okay, the inside of the house looks super, super cozy. I love these pillars and the way it's set up over here to have like a little sofa and little television seating area. That's so pretty right over here. It's got that like um, old school kind of vintagey feeling. I really love the little telescope over here for stargazing out the window. Super cute. We have a greenhouse over to the right. So cool. I love this. I love when people bring the outdoors in. This is really neat. I love the greenhouse wall and I also love all of the items used here. Look at all the little butterflies fluttering about. Super cute. Over here, we have some gyroid bubble bubbleoids taking a bath. I love that. They're like in a spa. I love that there's a bath chair or a shower chair right here in the open shower. That's really cool. It kind of reminds me a little bit of visiting Mexico where there's just a shower head and in the middle there's a drain and it's pretty much an open bathroom. And then here we have the toilet and... Um, our little sink right here and I love the stack shirts on the wooden cabinet. This is all really cute and I do love the brick theme throughout. The back room appears to be a little cafe seating area. I love this. 
This is such a great idea and it's such a beautiful layout. I love this wall over here, like the window wall. That's really cool. I love that. That's beautiful. And then over yonder, we have a viewing area of a beautiful forest area. This is so pretty. Wow. I do love that. That's gorgeous. Before we go down, y'all know how I feel about basements, right? This is the last time. If anything happens, I'm just know if you submit your dream address, I will never go into a basement again. Okay, so it looks pretty harmless. We have a cute stacked wood wall. We're using those windows again, which look really cool framing that wall. We have the museum posters and some little methods of transportation that I absolutely love. There's a little workstation right there, a little storage area, which is very basement-like. I love that, like IRL basement-like. And then over here, we have a little pantry. We have an actual kitchen, like a real kitchen, super cool. And a laundry area over here, which is really nice. I love the laundry area, that is really cute. Okay, my friend has successfully restored my face, faith in visiting basements. So we upstairs, we have what looks like an entire guest house. There is a bedroom with a seating area and a little ensuite there with a bathtub and everything. Super cool, this beautiful summit view outside. And then the bedroom over here, gorgeous. It is beautiful. I do love this little setup right here with the wall and um, it's like a wall partition and a little seat with a computer. That's really neat. Very realistic too. Okay, that house has restored my faith in interiors. Let's look at the map before I forget. So we have Hopkins, Bubbles, Lily, Chief, Coco, Dom, Olivia, Plucky, Marshall, and Ioni. And it looks like we are on the left hand, far left hand side of the map. Let's go up here. I kind of want to go up before we go to the left. Look at the mines. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. This is so cool right here. I love this view. It's absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Everything looks so good with the rainbows in the back, too. Got a little bit of a flex with the five star flowers. Over here, we have Coco again, Madame Coco, with our little stone fountain. I love that. It is gorgeous. This little area right here is beautiful. I love that little fake building. I feel like I'm coming up on something. Let's look. <gasps> Look at the wheat field. It's so pretty. And then with the sky in the background. Oh, that's so nice. I love this. Okay, so there is a place to um, to climb right over here if you want the view right here. Really cute. And it looks like back here we have come upon the villager neighborhood. You can run through the wheat field, which I love. And I do love that this hay bale is kind of covering up some of that wheat, which is a really great idea that I might have to use, actually. This is the library, and it appears the villagers' home. So I'm going to go inside. We have Lily as the librarian. I think that's so cute. And I love this little staircase right here leading up. Her little station right there. That is adorable. I'm not talking to the villagers. I know, terrible, terrible of me. Okay, so after the library over here, we have another villager's house, which is really beautiful and cute. And I love the way they're side by side and the way they're situated. This is such a cute picture right here. I'm going to go ahead and go in this villager's house. Here we have a Dom. It looks like he has a little bit of a restaurant. I love that. He was probably going to teach a custom design that day. So his, his desk was out or his workbench is out. 
but it's it wouldn't usually be that's what i imagine anyway with a beautiful ocean view and the back of the island is the ocean so this is the kind of view that you would get in this location of the island and i love how thoughtful that was laid out we're going to continue making our way to the side and we have nook's cranny over here I love that Nooks is set up for a delivery. It looks very quaint and cozy and beautiful. I do love the peach lined trees right here and what you can see of those um, partitions, the plant partitions, they look so good. Over here we have a clinic, which we can't go into right now because it's not open, but it is beautiful. And the museum, the museum courtyard has the Valiant statue. It looks beautiful. So I'm going to follow this path around and behind the museum, it looks like we have a cemetery of sorts. So maybe it's like a church or something. I have no idea. So if we follow these dirt tracks over here, we have dwarves. One, two, three. There's seven dwarves having a lunch here. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. This is so cute wow this is adorable they are so cute and then over here we have a little memorial which is beautiful i'm going to come up the cliff right here because it looks like i can and here we have the campsite there's this beautiful pond up here that you can kind of see this glowing moss pond and it's just a a small thing like that you can see at like a kind of happen chance view but it is rather beautiful and then over here we have our campsite which is super cute and quaint and cozy and I love it there is a beautiful waterfall right here this is majestic and stunning absolutely gorgeous Check this out. This view is beautiful. So we're going to continue along this dirt path and we're making it back to the other side of resident services. So I took you around the back of the island, but we still haven't actually seen um, most of the island. So here I would imagine is the forest and the little lumberjack and the wood cutting station and all of that. Super cool with the chainsaw. And Ioni lives here. Ioni is especially beautiful and she does obviously woodworking it looks like. Oh wow, everything is so pretty and her house is gorgeous. I love this. This is such a beautiful home. So right along over here, it looks like we would have a cafe if we were able to go in, which we are not, but the house does look really cute. It is especially beautiful, surrounded by fruit trees. And here we have what looks like a vineyard. It's gorgeous. I love the, the way the pergolas were made to be like a trellis. And we have our barn over here. Oh, and we have our resident. Hello, hi. Rabbits, enjoy a beautiful life. Well, thank you so much. You do the same. If we go inside the house, we have Pool Floaty Boy and their house is really cute. I do love when people use that staircase and make it look like there is a stairway. That is beautiful. I love the vines on the ceiling. This house is very beautiful. You guys should come to this dream address and see if you can make it into any of the other houses. So over here behind resident services, we have this really beautiful garden. It just looks really pretty. So over here, we have what looks like an orchard and apple picking, and it's really cute. There's a little apple bobbing station right there and all of the different trees. I do love a good linear orchard. This is beautiful. And I love the strung lights. I do that quite often, stringing the lights in between the trees. It comes out so beautiful every single time. I do love it, it's so pretty. And then we have this beautiful walkway right in between. Everything about this island is super peaceful and just really beautiful. I love that so much. 
Okay, and that, my friends, is where I am going to leave you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button. I do get submitted new and exciting and interesting islands all the time. This island was especially beautiful, and I just love the simplicity. I've toured a lot of really, really complex islands lately, and this island had so much charm and so much beauty in just the natural way that it was designed. Super beautiful. If you play Story of Seasons, let me know how it matches up to the game or how well the layout or how similar the layout is to the game. I do not play Story of Seasons, unfortunately. Thank you so much, AC and Nature Rabbids, for allowing me to tour your beautiful island. I will put a link to their Twitter and the dream address down in the description below. I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night. I know you can be anywhere on the entire internet and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and I appreciate that so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!